almost 50 years ago. Mustafaqul Zakirov left his childhood mountain village in a remote corner of Uzbekistan in search of water. He never returned, but his disappearance led to a discovery that now draws explorers to the Central Asian country, normally known for its vast steppes, unanchored Silk Road cities. What attracts them is Boy Block at 1. 515 meters, 640 feet, Asia's deepest cave. Uzbekistan's mountains still have an air of mystery and are amongst the least explored anywhere. That's certainly true for the highest range in the south of the country, where Boy Block lies. Just getting there is a task not for the faint hearted. First, comes a hair-raising seven-hour drive in an old Soviet-era UAZ off-road vehicle, up to the hamlet of Dihibolo, which translates as the highest village. As the mountains disappear in the clouds on one side, steep gorges promise certain death on the other should your driver make the smallest mistake. I live and ride in winter and at midnight, boasts of a young chauffeur working. I know every stone and every band, so relax and enjoy the view. Once we reach the last few villages, the road disappears altogether and the car has to make do with the river. Battle amidst the steep barren cliffs, springs and narrow streams, at an altitude of over 3. M. D. Hibolo marks the end of the journey, a small gray noise at what feels like the end of the world. During the snowy season from late January to mid April, the village is completely cut off. People here have to produce almost everything themselves, except clothes, medicine and flour. Villagers keep honeybees, rear sheep, grow fruit and vegetables, and all summer, they have to gather either firewood or coal in the surrounding mountains to keep them going through winter. Life here is tough. Says Nakal Momo, Shishi. All my children have moved away. Just my youngest is still here. Everything here is built into the rocks. Nakal Momo's courtyard is also the roof of her neighbor's place. Growing food is challenging in these narrow, rocky valleys. People spend years clearing rocks away to make room for small gardens, where they can grow fruit or vegetables. Far water they rely on rain, and a few natural springs, and any dry spell can pose danger for the community. In 1971, a bad drought hit the village, and all the springs dried out. So Mustafaqul Zakirov, a local carpenter and father of eight, decided to do something about it. He knew that water came from a cave in the high mountain. A far hour walk away, taking his son and several donkeys and water canisters, he made the trek to the Boy Block Spring. Little did he realize that this was to be his last trip, or that it would later lead to one of the biggest geographical discoveries in the world. His grandson Shahobid Inri Khan's story passed on through the family. He left the donkeys and my then teenage uncle by the entrance. And entered the cave, but never came back. His son waited all night and the next morning alerted the village. Young men from the village entered the cave, but no trace was found for the next 14 years. Then in 1985, a group of Russian explorers came to the village. After hearing the story, they offered to look for an USTAFAQUL. Two years later they found his remains. In one of the deepest corners of Boy Book, the lamp still lying next to his bones. The search had led them to what is now recognized as the deepest and one of the least explored caves in Asia. We tour made our way to the cave entrance, a small hole set in a rock face. Despite an outside temperature of 30 C, a cold wind blew from the mouth of the cave. Just beneath the opening, we saw the small spring MUSTAFAQUL had come to find. Now, nearly 50 years on a new drive to open Uzbekistan to visitors.
is bringing paying clientele to this remote spot. This year, a joint Russian-French-Swiss expedition was on site. Our main task was to find a possible tunnel that connects the two deepest caves in the Chubayir Mountains, the Boybog and Vishnitsky Caves. Expedition head Vadim Lotinov explains. They are actually positioned in such a way that we assume this two are in fact a single long cave. If it can be proven, the two systems would become one of the deepest in the whole world. But it's not an easy task. Nadim Lotinov says they have found new rivers and lakes inside the cave. An inexperienced person will not survive here. While we were there, a small group of Swiss and French explorers entered the complex. You cannot find such a deep cave at a height of 3.000 meters anywhere in the world, says Aaron Lomelot from Switzerland. His team have been into the Vishnitsky cave, which is around 735 meters deep, and now plan to return in 2000. And mighty and to and to boil up and look for the elusive connection. For the villagers of Dihibolo, the explorers offered a connection of a different kind, an opening up to the rest of the world. Back the year Imamad contributed to us this article. A poacher has been ordered to watch the Disney film Bambi repeatedly after he was convicted of illegally killing hundreds of the. Missouri hunter David Barry uh, must view the film at least once a month during his year-long sentence. He was arrested in August along with two family members for killing the deer, taking their heads and leaving their bodies to rot. Prosecutors said it is reportedly one of the biggest poaching cases in Missouri history. On top of the jail sentence, are they illegal deer hunting? Josh Robert George ordered Barry Jane to view the Walt Disney movie Bambi, with the first viewing being on or before December 23, 2018. And at least one such viewing each month thereafter, during his spell in prison. The 1942 cartoon about woodland creatures shows a hunt to kill the mother of eponymous deer character Bambi, a month's long investigation. Spanning several states, led to the arrest of Barry Jr., his father David Barry, Sr., and his brother Kyle Barry. According to a local newspaper, the Springfield News Leader, while the total number of deer taken illegally is unknown, Lawrence County's conservation agent Tandy Bonds said it could be several hundred. Barry Jr. received a year long sentence in Lawrence County Prison. After pleading guilt to illegally taking wildlife, he has also been sentenced to a one to zero day term in Barton County Prison for a firearms probation violation, and both he and his father had their hunting privileges revoked for life by the Missouri Conservation Commission. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company tour. Show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan Province said it would waive the $9.40 65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Hu Awa phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, Faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world who support Huawei's success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported, but it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way for owners are being offered other enticements to They can get a 20% discount at a board in Beijing. See in Beijing. Bring a who are way phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story.
We covered yesterday HTTPS, T, QXL19YPQLPIC, Twitter, com soccer love, end of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G, at least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a lead businessman, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on year on between 2000 and May and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder,